Hi guys, this is Stephanie and welcome back to my 2017 Panda Palette Finale! Yay! Oh guys, I can't believe 2017 is almost over. It's been quite a journey for me this year, working through my palettes and really pushing myself to embrace color and, you know, no really loud eyeshadow looks. It's been so much fun. So let's go ahead and get a look at the palettes. The first palette that I've been panning is the Tarte Be Magnificent palette. I don't know why I keep thinking this palette is Too Faced. It's not. It's Tarte. Um, and if you guys saw my Project Pan 2017 finale last week, you got a little sneak peek at this. But let me go ahead and show you what this palette looked like last month. And here's what it looks like now. Um, literally, this just fell off. This chunk of this pink one mm -hmm. wasn't there last time I opened it when I just did my makeup. You guys can see that I have been making a lot of progress. I did use a lot more of this pink shade over here on the side. Um, I finally hit corner pan over here on this taupe shade and I have still made more progress here on this warm brown, on this dark brown that I use on my eyebrows. And overall I'm just really happy with the amount of use I've gotten out of this palette. I totally feel like I've got my money's worth out of it. Um, I've got so much use out of these shadows. Um, again, these pans are really huge. Whoops, that little chunk just fell out. Um, uh, these ones are over two grams and these ones are over three grams. So it's a ton, a ton of shadow. So I'm just super happy with the amount of progress that I've made. Um, I can definitely tell that these eyeshadows are getting kind of dried out and powdery. So I am going to be decluttering this one now. I, like I said, I feel like I got so much of my money's worth out of this, I'm okay with letting it go. The other palette I've been working on lately is the After Dark palette. So let me go ahead and show you guys what this looked like last month. So this is my palette. So you guys know that um, for November, I had really wanted to hit pan on this shade Alter, and I didn't quite make it. I was really kind of frustrated because I felt like I was so close, but the, the, the dip just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Well, I hit pan on it like the day after I posted the video. So it's got a pretty, you know, ginormous pan in there now, so I feel like pretty validated that I almost made it. I almost made it and hit pan on three shadows in one month. I think I hit pan on this on like December 1st or December 2nd. So super happy with that. I went on and just continued using it. I kind of tried working towards this side so you guys can see it's getting kind of thin over there. And then yesterday I hit pan on my oh, Duty, the other shade that I wanted to hit pan on in this palette. And I'm just super happy with that. I have so much pan on this palette. These pans are 1.4 grams. They're just a little bit smaller than the Urban Decay Single Shadow, so there's a ton, a ton of product in there. Um, especially these dark shades are super pigmented, so you really don't need a lot of shadow, and I just, I'm so happy about all the shades that I learned how to use. I conquered red, a nice red shade. Um, I really did great on this blue shade. I thought for sure this one would be one that would be, still be hanging out. Um, brown, believe it or not, brown eyeshadow is kind of intimidating to me. This just kind of boring brown because I have brown hair and brown eyes and it's just kind of a lot of brown sometimes but I really ended up enjoying the shade. I used fringe a lot. It's got a pretty big dip and then I also was able to use some of this gold shade. This is the other shade that I was really worried about at the beginning of the year and there is a little bit of a dip in there. Um, I'm okay with not hitting pan because I just really don't think it's flattering on me but I did push myself to try and use it so I'm super happy about that. Um, I will be keeping this palette because I love so many of the shades in here. I just really enjoy them. And um, yeah, so that's it. You guys, look at this. I hit pan on eight of these giant eyeshadows this year. Like seriously, it makes me so happy. So before I wrap up this video, I did want to talk a little bit about my Pen That Palette 2018. I am going to be doing one. I'm going to be doing my updates on Instagram this year instead of YouTube and I'm going to post a video about why I'm doing that, kind of what's going on with my channel, um, 
probably next week so you guys can you know hang out and wait for that but I did want to go ahead and let you guys know that my Instagram handle is at Steph and Les S-T-E-P-H-A-N-D-L-E-S-S -S -S. Um, I'll leave a link down below. You guys can find me on Instagram and follow me over there. I post um, my panning updates. I post uh, Bible journaling. I post a lot of my bullet journaling stuff on there. So all that good stuff is over on Instagram if you'd like to follow me there. But I did want to go ahead and give you guys just a little bit of a sneak peek. I'm not 100% settled on what I'm going to be panning next year, but I have a good start. So let me go ahead and talk about that. So I'm going to be working out of my Z palette this year. So let me go ahead and um, just kind of tell you a little bit about what's in here. You guys can see those little heart pans. Those are from my Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette, which I have, it was partially depotted earlier this year and now it's completely depotted. So I can let go of this packaging, which I'm super excited about. I also have depotted some of my Metal Matte palette. This guy is huge, it probably won't fit on screen all at the same time. So you guys can see I have depotted a lot out of here that I'm going to be working on. So one of the things that I noticed this year while working on the Urban Decay After Dark is that I really didn't need this palette because I have so many of the shades in here in the Metal Matte palette. So um, you know I have that same really yellowy gold color, a brown color, um, this kind of mauve purpley color. I have a super dark blue. I have a tealy color. This one is a lot more green. It's more kind of like a mermaidy green than a true teal. And then if I go to my Z palette, I have a light purple shade, which I also had in the other palette. And I actually have a Urban Decay single of a really nice peach shade, which if you look at this palette, Have one of these, 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 have something super close, have one of these, and have one of these. So, yeah. Anyways, the things that you learn when you're panning through your palettes. So this is my Z palette I've got right here. And um, so you can see I have um, the two large pans from the... Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. I did declutter the Glitter Bomb purpley shade. Um, I think it's Black Current out of this palette because anybody got time for that. And then I have a couple shades from the Metal Matte palette. I have uh, the yellow shade, the peach shade, the pink shade, the purple shade, and then this kind of pinky shimmery shade, the purpley shimmery shade, and then this kind of light aqua shade. And then this is Urban Decay um, Pistol, which I have depotted because I ended up with two singles of very similar gray colors. I have Pistol and I also have Mushroom, so I decided might as well pan one of those since I have two. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is, um, you know, playing around with some of these colors. Um, I haven't, you know, used a lot of makeup outside of my Pan That palette this whole year. and. I'm going to be pretty vicious about decluttering. If things that they don't work, like today I'm wearing um, Earl Grey, and I actually really like it, so I wasn't sure. So I wanted to try it out, see if I wanted to declutter or not, so I'm going to keep that one. Um, and then if I, you know, declutter something, I'll probably depot something else to put in here to work on, and then that'll be what I have. And then I will post my kind of finished <laughs> Z palette over on my Instagram closer to the beginning of the year um, so you guys can check out what I'm panning over there. So let me know in the comment section below um, how did you guys do on your panlet palettes this year? Um, what are you panning next year? Is there anything you're super excited to be working through? I feel really inspired by my Z palette. I wasn't too inspired um, until I started rearranging all the colors and um, I just depotted the metal matte shades so I have some more shades in here and it's got me really excited. I wanted to have a lot of neutrals but also some color to play with um, and I also wanted to be able to, if I finish something, like if I finish this taupe shade and I need I want another crease shade, then I can just depot something else and throw it in here and keep panning. 
so that's it um, make sure you guys hang out after this video so I will go ahead and put the progress slides like I do for everybody as you can see the entire year my panning progress super inspiring to me um, makes me feel really proud so thank you guys so much for watching and until next time